Hey everybody, welcome back to the Times Bunch channel. Today, as I've talked about in previous videos, I want to talk a little business again. I've got my uh, Sherlock Holmes, this is the Baskerville pipe, and I'm smoking some GLPs, GLPs, which however way you say it. Anyways, it's really, really good. It's gaslight. It's about the closest thing I've been able to come to that Penzance I got to try. But that's besides the point because I'm going to do a review on these soon. Anyways, I want to talk about business and specifically customer service. Customer service to me in the past few years, it's just been dead. What do you want? You want fries? We didn't break it. Uh, I don't know. You can call the manufacturer. You get my point. And every time I have to do that, I leave the restaurant or the store feeling like this. Okay, yeah, did I really just do my hair up like that just to make that joke? And it was bad. But last night, I dealt with a company that went above and beyond on the customer service realm, especially when they have a brick and mortar store or lots of stores actually and they do the online thing through their own online store and they do ebay and there's lots of different verticals that they use to sell their products you see behind me the bass guitar i've talked about it before i'm not going to talk about music and how bad i actually suck at it but i do want to talk about a company that helped me out last night before i say the name because i know as soon as i say the name because this is associated with one of the big box stores the evil empires, everybody's gonna go crazy. And unfortunately, yes. Sometimes when we go to big box stores, whether it be Walmart or Target or Best Buy or, or Guitar Center or Sam Ash or anything like that, you end up talking with some disenfranchised college age student that really doesn't care to be there. What do you want? I haven't had that happen to me in this specific box store before because I've only been in there once and Ironically, I was in there yesterday as the bass guitar that I ordered was on its way to the house. So don't get that, oh God, that store mentality when I say this. Give them the benefit of the doubt because let's face it, we're all getting that frazzled hair look dealing with customer service these days. Nobody really cares about it. Nobody's focusing on the customers and realizing, oh, these guys are the guys that pay me. Yeah, your boss may actually sign your check or the corporation or whatever, but the people that are really paying you are the customers. So why not put them first? So Sam Ash, I want to give them the biggest triple thumbs up. I, there's no three thumbs, are there? There's two. The biggest two thumbs up I could possibly give them. They're awesome. Uh, first time ever going into one of their stores yesterday. I've lived in Nashville most of my life and I've never been to a Sam Ash. I know that's pathetic, isn't it? But I've gone to the other big box guitar store before. Or music store, whatever you want to call it. Went into Sam Ash after I had already ordered a guitar off eBay. The customer service in the store was outstanding. It was Sam Ash Nashville. Uh, there was a young kid and he may see this and be insulted by saying young kid, eh, probably mid-20s, something like that, college age, or a little older. I said mid-20s is college age. Yeah, that, that was my college age. It didn't jump all over me like you would at a used car store or something like that. But let me walk around, play the guitars, and felt when the timing was right, came out and asked if, I, if he could help with anything. I did have a couple questions uh, about the woods on some of these bass guitars. He didn't know the answers, but instead of going, oh, I'm not real sure, man, you can Google it. He actually told me that there was a vintage guitar employee there. And we waited for him to be done with the customer he was dealing with. And then he actually looked it up, took the time. I mean, we probably spent 30 minutes looking up the different types of woods these bass guitars were made of. It was awesome. He actually spent the time to do that. That was good customer service. I still didn't get the best yet. So I get home. It's about 7 o'clock, 7.15. And my bass guitar is there. I ordered a, you know, not a super pricey bass, but it was my first five string bass, so I was excited. I need to light this up again, because I'm getting excited now, I'm sweating. In the ad on eBay, it did show where there was a little crack up at the top of the headstock. The headstock is up there where you tune the, the strings. There was a little bitty crack, looked like somebody had tried to glue it together, but it was used, no big deal. I knew that wouldn't affect the function of it. <clears throat> so I ordered it, waited about, 
uh, I think it took three days at the most. Uh, shipping was incredibly fast. I get home last night and it's in the dining room. Yay. <laughs> Box opening. Yeah, bo. So I take it to the bedroom, cut it open, get all excited, pull the guitar out, didn't look at the headstock yet, and I hit the first string. And a first string on the bass that's already tightened should give a nice, it, it's probably gonna be out of tune after shipping, and nobody playing it. It's getting a little nice doom. That doesn't sound anything like that. But you can tell it's working. This one, I hit it and it was like blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that was the actual noise it made. So I thought, okay, it's not wound up enough. Then I looked at the headstock and this is what it actually looked like. So this is the picture of the little crack that was on eBay and this is what happened in shipping. Was I sad? What do you think? So I immediately went to eBay, did the whole little uh, resolve a problem part, request refund, told them exactly what happened, took pictures, those pictures right there, showed where the crack was right on the little tuning peg and the string had just flopped. Yeah, I've tried to turn it, and it was, it was done. I'm thinking, all right, this is a big corporation, big box store, and lots of big box stores, by the way. They're all over the country. Yeah, it's gonna take four days, five days, maybe I'll get an email in a week. 10 minutes goes by. My phone rings. New York. I bet that's Sam Ash. Answered the phone, and this guy was friggin' awesome. I guess I should say this guy was friggin' awesome. I, that was a horrible New York accent. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna say your name because I don't know if you want me to have it out here, but I'll give you the initials. It's FG. And FG was just an amazing, nice guy. He's like, hey, Zeke, it's FG from uh, Sam Ash. And I'm like, wow, that was quick. He goes, yeah, we want to take care of you. It's gonna be easiest if you just send it back to the, the Pennsylvania store where they shipped it from, th from the eBay sale, and then we'll get you a full refund. I'm really sorry. I mean, this guy apologized like five, six times even though it wasn't really their fault because the picture of it before they shipped it was just the little crack, that little one that I sh showed. And then when I got it, it had the big crack through the headstock. So this happened, had to happen through shipping. I mean, that's the only way I can explain it unless somebody, yeah, we won't even go there because I like this company now. Uh, so I'm not gonna bash anybody there. But he was apologetic like crazy. Said, yeah, we'll get you a full refund. While I'm on the phone with him, he prints out the shipping label, or doesn't print it out, but does the whole process on eBay to get the new shipping so I can send it back to Sam Ash. Says, yep, you're ready to go. You just gotta email it to yourself, print it out, send it to me, um, and then we'll get you a full refund and take care of you. And I said, well, actually, I was in the Sam Ash in Nashville today. Could I go in there and just get a store credit for what I paid for this guitar and do that? Um, and they couldn't do that because some of the business practices, understandably, when you have multiple stores like that, one store is going to eat the cost that the other store profited off of. So you don't want to do that stuff. Got it. But he said, no, man, you take my number down. This guy doesn't know me from Adam. Never met me, never, doesn't know who I am or what I do for a living or did I have brown hair? I, I don't know where I was going with that. Anyways doesn't know who I am, says take my number, go in to the Nashville Sam Ash, and I'll make sure they take care of you. Now I wish it was like the old school take care of you before, I, so I leave with like 10 guitars and like a half stack, and no. So I couldn't do this exchange, but this guy was so friendly and so customer focused. I don't know what his role, if he's just the eBay sales guy or anything like that, but he should be the head of customer service for every big box company out there. He rocked, he just totally rocked. FG, thank you. Uh, Sam Ash, thank you. I've heard mixed reviews on Sam Ash. Mostly the bad ones were because, oh, it's a big box store, oh, the markups, oh, well, they bought my guitar back at, you know, 25% of its value. Just a quick little side rabbit trail here. If you have a business and you deal with used products, when you buy them back, you're not gonna buy them back at what they're worth. Because if you come to me with this empty Coke can 
and you say, hey, I want to sell this to you. And I know I can sell it for a dollar. Empty Coke can for a dollar? I'm not giving you a dollar. You're coming to me to make it easier for you to sell it. So I'm probably going to give you half. So I can make a profit off this. And you're like, oh, 50% profit. Well, well I, I got to take the time to do it. I got to enter it in my system. All that cost overhead and money. So there's my little rabbit trail for the day. Don't get pissed when a used place that you're taking somewhere to sell it because you didn't want to do it yourself on eBay or Craigslist, which is really easy. And now there's Facebook Marketplace. Gee whiz, you can do it anywhere. And you're not getting the price you wanted or the value you think it should sell for. Sorry, had to rant a little bit again. Can't be all positive in one video. So, anyways, where was I going with that? Sam Ash. Oh, yeah, most of the complaints were, you know, oh, they didn't give me any money for the guitar or the bass or the drums or whatever. Man, they're a business and they're doing something right. As many stores as I saw online last night, because I surfed the web looking for everything, because now that I don't have my five string bass anymore. I'm gonna have to get another one because I really want a five string bass. I'm actually looking at two. And here's the deal. Sam Ash, because of the way they dealt with me at their Nashville store and because of the way they dealt with me online last night and on the phone last night, they have a customer for life. If I go in there and somebody's a, a, an asshole, I'm just gonna chalk it up to that guy having a bad day because my experience last night was so good I will always buy my, oh, uh, at least I'll always buy my new gear there, a lot of my used gear there. Uh, if I still find a good deal on eBay or somewhere else, sorry guys, I, I can't pass that up. As far as going to a store and getting stuff, my wife and I are going to be starting a podcast because y'all know I've done radio and podcasts in the past. Uh, I need to get some microphones and stuff. Guess where I'm getting them? Sam Ash. Getting gear for that. Mixing board. No, I've already got the mixing board. Whatever I need, go into Sam Ash. And this sounds like a big commercial for them, and I hope it does. They haven't paid me a dime. They haven't done anything for me but treat me right as a customer. And I want to promote that. Because I feel like it. So yeah, Sam Ash. Here's their website. If you like musical instruments and gear and stuff like that. They've even got like video. I think they've got video. Oh, ooh, don't hold me to that. So if you're a YouTuber, if you want to get some... <sighs> I'm all over the place this video. Moral of the story is, if you... I've said it in a video before. Create a super fan of your customers. Make your customers a super fan. Rat Rays. They did it for me. Had that issue in a few videos back with the pipe. Contacted them. They got right back to me. The freaking head of Rat Rays got a hold of me. And... To, uh, gave me some suggestions. I used a couple of them, but I actually got a suggestion from one of my followers and it worked. But just their response and the way they treated me like a customer, I'm a super fan of Rat Rays. Now, same thing with Sam Ash. I am a super fan of Sam Ash. They did their job in customer service. And every big corporation that is retail or Anybody that has customer service for that matter can learn a lesson from Sam Ash. And I don't know if their leadership has a great customer service education program or FG is just a kick-ass guy. Either way, I don't care. Sam Ash, super fan, customer for life. That's really all I gotta say. I was just so excited about how I got treated last night that I'm actually going to buy a base today at the Nashville store, I think. If they have the one I want. If not, I may have to go to another store or go online. I'm spending some money at Sam Ash because of the way I got treated. And it'll probably be more, probably, probably, it'll probably be more than what my refund is from the base I bought last night. Well, I bought a week ago, but got last night. I will be doing the giveaway video this weekend. I did promise this week, and technically if I have it, posted by Saturday. It's still this week. But I've got all the um, the VRs collected and then I'll do a live, I won't do a live drawing, but I'll do a drawing. Also, I'm going to be doing another live smoke like I did with uh, L.L. Haynes and uh, Bryce Parker and of course Waves of Java with um, Bearded Bristol. 
he and I have chatted back and forth a lot about sci-fi stuff, and we're going to you know, smoke a pipe and talk about sci-fi movies, TVs, whatever else, and probably a lot of other stuff that comes up about beards. Just remember, treat your customers right. Make a super fan of those customers. Keep your pipes loaded. Slow down, philosophize, and enjoy your life. <laughs> I'm really enjoying life right now. See you guys.